Let's go to some of your voicemails. A lot of voicemails coming in. I know we have a lot of them backlogged. 2192 David P is the number. Let's just go through a couple of these, Lewis. And some of these, the volume might be low. Let's do what we can to uh, boost them up. David, nice show. Uh, I just wanted to point out something that Texas is a really fair state. They'll execute anyone under an IQ of 70, <laughs> and they'll let anyone that has an IQ of under 70 be governor. All right, so Texas apparently an equal opportunity uh, executioner. Mm -hmm. Really just, if, if your IQ is under 70, you can both be executed. Or be the governor. Or be the governor, which is really perfect. And then here's one voicemail at 2192DavidP about marijuana. Uh, yeah, uh, this is Aaron. Uh, I live in New Carlisle, Ohio. Uh, now, you, now you guys should really talk about how to legalize some marijuana now. <laughs> All right, bye. All right. Well, Aaron maybe under the influence of marijuana at the time he made this call, don't you think? Uh, hard to say. <laughs> we wouldn't. I would never say that as, as I can't say it with certitude. Right. All right. Well, l we'll talk about that. I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to say. We have. Oh, done we, have. we have. We have. We've yeah. done a number of segments. I'm about, sure it will come up more in the future. No question about it. Do people get more conservative as they age? A lot of emails on that to David at davidpackman.com. I think people become more socially liberal with age because they move with the times. Consider most people who are classed as conservative now would have been classed as liberal 40 years ago. Does that make sense to you guys? I don't know that, that I agree with that. Um, maybe the opposite. Yeah, I, I don't know that that's, that's the case. Well, Natan's mic's not even on. We can't even hear him. <laughs> is he on the show today? I mean, it is true that 40 years ago, certain things were accepted that now aren't, you know, like segregationist ideas. You yeah, know, but Strom it, Thurmond changed opinion throughout his lifetime, for sure, example. Sure, but there has also been progressivization on a number of other issues, including censorship, what's allowed on TV and radio, I mean, a number of other areas. Uh, West Nile found near my house, and it scared me. A lot of people actually sending me emails about this. Uh, questions about... Uh, if I'm actually curious why mosquitoes might be more attracted to me, it could be because I put out more body heat. I have type O blood. I don't have type O blood. Uh, if you've been drinking alcohol, you attract mosquitoes more. Your body produces a certain chemical that mosquitoes like. If you're pregnant, I don't think I'm pregnant. If I'm tall or overweight, I'm not either. So I don't know. I don't know what it could be that's attracting mosquitoes more to me. It, it, it does nothing on this Fear. list. What's that? I mean, if you're afraid, you might release a chemical that attracts mosquitoes. Isn't that true? I only became afraid when I found out about the West Nile. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe maybe it is just the South American blood. Uh, that's not on the list, but it could be something. Maybe. Because when I go to Argentina, the mosquitoes there ignore me completely. Yeah, it's because it's winter. That's true. Yeah, there's not that many. Mosquitoes here ignore me in winter, too. And on the topic of random anti-gay emails that I get, Chris sending me an email saying the Bible condemns homosexuality, and I'm rallying against people who teach the truth, like the Westboro Baptist Church, so I'm rallying against God. I couldn't possibly respond to such an eloquent voicemail. See you on the next show. The email David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.